There was a time in my son's life that life got tough. He had already graduated from college uh, with honors, with a degree in psychology. Um, he came back home and was saving up money to buy a property one day. I think he had a lot of negative self-talk. Um, there was probably some undealt with trauma. And he started a new job that was very stressful. And he found relief with street drugs. He lost his job. Uh, he lost, he wrecked two cars. And um, it was weighing on us at home. And eventually, we had to kick him out of the house. It was hopeless. I, there was nothing that we can do. We were trying different uh, things to try to get him off the drugs. And every, nothing was working. It was a, a free fall that we couldn't stop. What I felt was so much despair and sadness. I felt guilty. I felt ashamed. Um, I felt like a failure. We realized that, yeah, we didn't cause it. I mean, I mean we couldn't cure it. And, and we couldn't control it. My nephew, who lives in Seattle, told me about a support group called the Naranon Family Groups. We started attending um, probably a, a couple months into my son's addiction. Naranon is a support group for the addict's family members. When I learned in Naranon that I could choose faith rather than fear. I am giving this whole situation to a God that is going to be with me in the darkest times and the happiest times of my life. She went to one vacation, and I could, I mean, I couldn't even fathom that. I, I needed to stay close to home in case something happened with my son or needed our help. And so I didn't want to go anywhere. And finally, she says, you have to just give it up to God, give it to God. And that's what I did. And, and then I was able to start living my life again. I was allowing myself to be happy, knowing that God has got my son. You know, God has got us. But it was a choice every single day. The gift that Naranon gave to me is something that I wanted to give to others so they can find peace. But it wasn't until the FOUR initiative that I felt called to start my own group. And the power of Jesus' resurrection, the power to overcome death, could save my son and save me from this pit that I was in. I knew we were going to be OK because God is with us, and I know He loves us. He loves my son. And it was complete surrender and complete trust in Him.